I started seeing blurred and I was and we've actually had one miscarriage in early in early channel my name is Dami Olat if you are new here you're welcome for old subscribers thank you so much guys for always sticking around thank you for supporting this girl I'm so excited thank you so much guys and also this is the this video for those who are just coming to my channel for the first time and you haven't seen my previous video this particular video is just my first trimester report <laughs> i'll put it that way first trimester report video that i'll be doing so i'll try to be doing uh i'll try to do first trimester i'm currently doing first so i'll try to do the first uh the second trimester and the third trimester and all the good um stuff that comes with it so like i said this is the first trimester video i'm currently in my 12th week and i'm um, just going to be telling you guys how the journey has been so far what i have done and everything so thank you uh if this video is something you would like to watch kindly remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and uh, share you don't know who you might be uh, helping by sharing this video so today i have two notes so this is my note this is like my record note my personal record note that i keep record of what has happened since the day we found out that we are pregnant and this file was given to me also at the hospital uh, and actually my community midwife when I went today for my booking uh, when I went today for my test actually so today is the first day that I visited the, um, the midwife community that, today is the first day I visited my midwife and so they gave me this So they gave me this and I'll, I'll be coming back to this so I've been taking notes like I said on what has happened so far so i tag it <laughs> our pregnancy our pregnancy journey so uh, i've actually made video uh, sorry i've actually made notes i have where i keep my weights and the date i took them i have um okay so i probably just give the first part so um on the 26th okay i think after the day we confirmed that we were pregnant during the same week uh okay wait let me let me not think too much because i have it written down 26 i went for early scan because yeah i was having slight bleeding and then Prior to the night, uh, in the night, I started having, I started seeing blurred and I was, and we've actually had one miscarriage early, in early, early, this earlier, um, in March. So we weren't going to take any chances with this new, with this pregnancy. And so when I started seeing blurred, I just told my husband, it was like, no, just to, I'm like, no guy, we are not coming down. I, I picked the phone, I called the, and then I started calling ambulance and telling them what happened. They booked me for, uh, to see, they booked me to come to the hospital. That night we went to the hospital and after we got to the hospital, it was like an emergency. So they gave me a parent. They te it was now like the same routine that we were going through when we first had the first miscarriage. They did the test, but this time around, the test was viable. There was pregnancy. And then they booked me to go to see a doctor. We were there for like hours. We were there up till midnight when we went to see the doctor and then eventually we saw one doctor is i think the doctor's name was also dummy and um 
he checked the history and was like oh uh you've had one miscarried before blah 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 i was like yes and so anyway i don't want to dwell so much on that so that came that experience came and then we had to now he booked us for an early he booked us for early um scan for her to go on the following um day in the, in the following day so he booked for for the scan and then we went for the scan as well after we had the scan we went for the scan it was after when we had the scan because it was still early i think it was about six weeks then yes it was about when they checked they said it was about six weeks yes exactly that was what it was it was about six weeks and that they would we would need to they did the test is it six weeks uh, don't mind me that's why i like to write something down so that i can always refer to it Okay, so we went for the scan. We went for the scan and then that was it. And God gave me two scripture. And I remember sending one of it to my prayer partner. I think it was Exodus 23, 26. I took a note of it. I, like these are God's words to me. Ulu Adam Inola will not suffer miscarriage and not, not be barren. And then Isaiah 26 verse 3, God will keep Ulu Adam Inola and Ola and Raja and the pregnancy of their triplets in perfect peace because they trust in him so those are the two scriptures that i held on to if you can see any like um a sticky note around i don't know if it, the video is currently showing it i wrote those scriptures i stick them if you come to my house i have scriptures stick all over the wall and then those are those the scriptures that kept us going and if each time that i want to go like um doubt my husband will probably just say read it what does it say on the wall and i will read it out and it will say that's what god told you then that's what you will believe and then so we just believed we prayed and then this pregnancy was actually it continued and then basically that was the early stage and that was it was the sporting of the blood we went for this kind and then they booked us for two weeks again to come back for this scan and at two weeks at that time i think okay it was no already six weeks when we first went so at that at this time it was already uh at this time it was already seven weeks plus yes and then we went for that second scan the first scan there wasn't really so much there was a lot of negativity like uh, they see blood they blah 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 and i was just rejecting it but the second scan that we went for that was seven weeks plus and that was the scan that they told us that we could hear the heartbeat they showed us my, i could remember my husband held me and he was so excited and it was like <laughs> it was just shaking my hand and it was practically just shaking it was so much excited and i'm like come on guy yeah we are having a baby you know so we that was the first scan that was the scan then we because at that time he had the baby had already started forming and then they could actually see things something as well so that was it about so that after we had um after we had the scan of the the seven that one that was seven weeks and um where they could tell they told us that they could see the baby forming everything was fine um they the the person that they did the test can uh, did actually mention that she could see some dark area which could be the reason for the um blurred and um, she could see the amniotic sac and the baby forming and everything so we were excited and we went back home uh okay what else okay so that was about seven weeks blurs and so the next one i have is um at nine weeks at around at about nine weeks i was gonna travel and uh, i just felt we need to let my family know my uh we need to let our family know about our uh, about our pregnancy and the father so we've actually we've actually been waiting for four years trusting god for the fruit of the womb before and this happened so we felt we shouldn't like keep it um 
keep it so long from them and so we just thought about telling our parents and our siblings so we made a video we, we made a call through to our siblings and our you probably would have seen the video if you have not <laughs> you probably need to go and watch it excuse me so we sorry i need to have water yeah water has been my best friend <laughs> since this pregnancy so i can't do with water right now so at nine weeks we told our parents our siblings the excitement you know that alone gives us joy and then keeps us going and so the pregnancy journey uh went on like that and also i think around um and then i traveled i came back um in a week and um around 11 weeks again around 11 weeks i saw i saw a drop of blood again fresh blood and then and then at this time we had already been waiting okay i need to quickly mention that after we after we found out that we got pregnant i think i skipped that after we found out that we got pregnant uh, after the test we went to see our gp and then we went to see our gp and they told us that they just took our information they already had they just confirmed that information that they already have and then they said okay we can go at uh am i okay for for a doctor to give me to give me a call and then do the bookings and i'm like oh fine yeah it's it's all right by me and so and so the doctor called uh yeah so the doctor called i don't know how i skipped that part but i know i wrote it somewhere in the note so the doctor called and um asked me the first day of my period uh the first day of my last period that's how they usually calculate it so you the first day of your last period is what, what they used to calculate your uh edd expected date of delivery so they had the the doctor asked me the first date of my period of uh, my last period which i told him and then he asked me a few questions like do you smoke do you drink uh have you had have you been pregnant before uh have you had any children they asked quite a few questions uh and i answered i don't smoke i don't drink uh i told them about the previous pregnancy and um so it was like he's gonna book me for a he's gonna book me for a midwife and that they will give me a call and okay i was up here i was like okay so it's, it did, i think he did mention that within 8 to 12 weeks that's when the midwife will call and i'm like okay thank you so at eight weeks we didn't see their call you know the kind of um this thing we are used to the kind of antenatal care we are used to in nigeria once you inform them you probably be going every month or every week or every two two weeks and so we waited eight weeks nothing came in nine weeks there was no call we called them and when we gave them a call because uh, after the doctor booked us they sent us a letter through the post to tell us who the midwife would be that would my midwife would be the name of the community hospital and the name and the number to call so we call, i called the number and they said oh they just took my details oh what's your date of birth okay can you confirm your name i did all of that and we're like oh that's fine someone will contact you don't worry within the next few days and i waited again nobody contacted me and um i was just open and at 11 weeks again nobody contacted we contacted again the same story don't worry this the person that answered the phone practically told me to leave it to her that they will call me and okay that's how i because we were actually hoping that before i traveled we'll be able to i'll be able to have to to uh, we were waiting actually to go to our to a midwife appointment for before we can tell our family tell pe tell our family basically but when it wasn't for coming we just went ahead to tell our family and then i traveled i came back still nothing no call from them and at 12 weeks 
my husband now had to call i was at work and my husband now called them and they were like we've been and they were like oh we've been trying to contact her that they contacted my gp and that they confirmed the number apparently there was a digit that was missing in my phone number and so my husband gave them the correct one and also they took my last name was totally wrong my husband gave them the last name again and they were like oh they will contact me this weekend they were even asking him that do i need interpreter or don't i speak english if that's why he's calling so he told them i was actually at work and that's why i couldn't excuse me that that's why i couldn't call them at the time so so the following day which was on a saturday they gave me a call from the midwife and then they called me and um, i think the lady's name carol called me and she was like oh um your midwife is not currently around she's on annual leave and that's why i'm the one calling you so is it okay to take your information so i was like oh fine that's that's not a problem so they asked quite a long question a long question i think i quite after that night i think i made a short video of what they ask as well they asked me about my medical history lt history my husband lt history my family lt history uh, if there is anybody in my family with high blood pressure where uh, if there is um sickle cell anemia down syndrome they asked quite a few questions and i answered they asked <laughs> funny enough they asked uh, if my husband and i were not related they asked about my previous pregnancy she also asked if i'm happy to um to get pregnant again in my head i'm like can you please let me drop these angels that god has blessed me with already first before we start thinking of another one so i know so okay let me okay that was it then i got booked for for that Th that was just a rough sketch of the old question there was there were loads of questions because the call lasted for about 45 minutes so she got to know me and then she booked me for she gave me some websites to know she told me the kind of test i will be doing she told me the screening that i'll be going for she made mention of the scan that we'll be having dating scan at 12 weeks another one at 27 weeks and she, at the end she asked me if i have any question to ask i did mention i did ask just i think one question but that was the sleeping position because i usually like feel pain when i sleep home because my husband and i have read my husband basically i've read a whole lot and so bless him he's read a whole lot on this pregnancy journey hi on the other hand i've just been paraphrasing reading fairy fair i don't know what to put it but he's been reading a, a whole lot he's joined community on my bf that is reading i also have a app that i'm using like flow i use flow hub and then quite a few community um that i can join just to read updates and everything uh that is that about it so i got booked on that saturday and she booked me for a blood test appointment with my midwife on monday so today is the day i went for that that's why i said i need to do this video today so i went for that today as well to see my midwife they took my blood sample i think like those three three vials or more my vein the vein she actually saw was very tiny but eventually she got the three bottles that she wanted when i got there they asked me to uh they gave me a urine bottle to you to make to have a urine sample that they will be using for to test infections and all of that as well so i did that they took urine sample they took blood samples and then that was when she gave me this so it was at that time she gave me this book wrote this um the, she also and then she also now um when i when they called me on saturday to book me they also booked me for the dating scan which will be taking place in an hospital and not the midwife not the maternity care center so they gave me this load of book in the book they she asked some questions. I think this was what um, the person that spoke to me on phone was feeling, where, where she was asking all the questions from. So there are quite a few bunch. I haven't, truth is, I haven't even read them. Because like I said, it's just today and immediately we came back. I just went to work. So 
uh there's quite a few things on how to passing urine things to take note of according to my midwife she did mention like there are some things i need to take note of some things are normal some things that if i notice they are not normal i need to actually speak to someone about it and um on the kind of diet i should take and then when she did my height yes she also did my height and weight and then she looked at it and she was like oh your bmi is 30 that i will need folic acid and then they will speak to my that they will speak to my gp about it uh she asked me if i've been using any more any motive any vitamins so i said yes that the one we bought because we actually did buy one that we've been using i think i've used actually i've actually used i'm on the i was almost done with the second one so it's been quite two months before they even before i even get to see them so they gave me this one that once the one i'm using finished i can continue with this one and i have to use it once a day all through my pregnancy journey oh so yeah so that's it so it's free you don't have to pay for it so they gave me that okay so guys like i said i haven't read through this so there is notes and yes yeah, she did mention that every appointment i'm going for whether in the hospital or with the midwife any appointment wherever i'm going i must always go with this file with this folder because that is where they will be making notes of all, all this pregnancy journey they'll be making notes on there and um yes they also did one test they call it carbon the purpose was to test for carbon dioxide if i have like if i've been smoking or uh, because when they asked i did mention but they usually want to ask and like i said this is just to protect your child and this is to protect you and your baby basically so they that was it was like a i was they, I was asked to hold my breath for like 15 seconds, then release it into that thing. And then it was a red three. And she did mention that that was okay. That if it was anyone lower than three means it's lower than four means it's normal. That, um, that it's not really about smoking alone. That even if you are not smoking, they need to know if there is anything you are exposed to in your, in your area. So that they need to take any carbon dioxide that you might have been exposed to this is just so they can protect you and your baby basically so that's it about it what else okay so tomorrow so uh today they called me later after we came back from the midwife they called me at the hospital that i will be doing the dating scan and they scheduled me for tomorrow so tomorrow because it's already 12 weeks I was supposed to have done it but because they couldn't contact me and all that which now we thank god that that has been sorted so we have we will be going for the dating scan tomorrow where we'll be knowing the number of babies <laughs> that we carry yeah and then we'll get to see our babies again guys left to my husband he feel we should be doing this scan every week man was so excited he wants to do this every week but I was like, let's calm down now. I was the one that was being calming him down that don't worry, we'll see them again. So tomorrow we'll be seeing them again. And so that's it. If there is any other info, okay, like I said, diet and everything. So you can see there's food. Let me just see. what can I do to prevent anemia? Heat well iron rich iron rich foods include that green leafy vegetables nuts and seeds fish eggs cereals beans and pauses meat tofu dried fruits blah 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 so that's it guys so that's what they will give you and you must go with it everywhere you go so that's become your uh personal load that you have to carry because it's your personal note it's quite a few loads there i'll be going through it not once a day once in a while i'll just go through it and then that's about it so basically that's what has happened so far in the first trimester of my pregnancy it was a little bit threatened at the start but we thank god that god has seen us through and by this time next week we'll be off the first trimester and then we'll be at 13 weeks we can then 
start counting for second trimester and then i'll keep taking notes keep keeping record and i will come back to you guys to let you know what happened in the second trimester and um, that's it guys remember to give this video a like if there is anything i forgot to mention i'll probably just mention it in the second trimester when i'm making it so yeah we did scan we did we, we did have to scan this is i think this is the first one we did yeah this was the very first one i don't know where the second one is right now so we did the first scan second scan so this is the tomorrow that we are going will be the third scan that we'll be having but normally they usually just do two scan which is the 12th week and the 27th week the screening for um down syndrome um his three drum that they mentioned in the <laughs> at the midwife so we'll, we'll go i'll probably have something to mention to you guys but so they will test for it and they just want to make sure that you and your baby are fine and so which i understand that's why they are paying so much attention and uh -huh, yes they also mentioned that because i've only had one dose of covid vaccine they said i will have to take the another one and also the second dose of the vaccine and also they said i will be i will have to also take um flu vaccine as well and also they mentioned that the baby will need to they did ask me if i've taken bcg bcg is you know for every every one of us will probably have that mark somewhere is it on the left or right so they said my baby will be having the bcg vaccine they asked me if it was fine i'm like yes it's fine anything to make sure we are good i am not gonna say no to that so thank you so much guys for watching if you watch this long that means you love me and i appreciate this love remember to give this video a thumbs up like it love it share it leave me a lovely comment as i love to read your comments and engagements in the conversation below so guys to see you next time take care of yourself uh so this is me hello baby bye